this is just a grand event. It's kind of a celebration of good genetics. It's taking the best cow families in the breed and some of the best sires in the breed and putting them together into packages that we think will really make people money. People selling the cows and most of all, the people buying the cows. The group that's responsible for the selections in this year's Americana were headed up by our manager of young sire procurement, Mr. Dick Smith. Dick, would you like to talk about the assignments just a tad? Well, each time we do this, it seems like it's the perfect year, and I think this is the perfect year, more so than in the past. As we started to put this together, it became obvious that the, the combined effects, particularly of bulls like Valiant and Mars and Sexation, made this such a timely opportunity. Valiant is the highest uh, production bull to ever sire an All-American get. Uh, Mars, uh, probably the second highest production bull to ever have a get nominated. And then the, the influence, the popularity of Sexation today is just tremendous. And we've always been concerned at ABS that we improve and increase the value uh, of our customers' herds. Uh, principally through improving production, but also in appreciation of quality cattle, uh, appreciation both uh, from an aesthetic standpoint and an economic standpoint. And I think Sexation has really, uh, that is his forte. And now, of course, we found all three of them uh, in the top three, in the top ten, excuse me, top ten sire of sons. And so uh, this is a time when the, the Sexation, the Mars, the Valiant Sons are having an influence and given us an opportunity to bring together this marvelous uh, group of daughters of those three bulls to uh, get one more look at the contributions and merits that they've made to the industry. Todd Charnetsky and Dick Smith headed an all-star crew that made the 1986 Americana the ideal place for buyers and spectators to see ABS's proud heritage as well as bulls of tomorrow presented. Not only were legends such as Valiant, Sexation, and Mars highlighted, but it was also a sale to see what's next from breed leader bulls such as Baltimore, Gold, Pistol, Merritt, Ramses, and Cedric. For many Holstein breeders, the Americana was the highlight of the World Dairy Expo. 67 head combining 21 different ABS sires and the finest cow families of the breed were part of the ABS tribute to good genetics and solid breeding programs. ABS President, Dr. Robert Walton. I want to say as a, as a professional geneticist and a, as a fellow cattle breeder that I, I have a particular appreciation for the caliber of cattle that are presented in this sale. To the consigners, uh, we, we are deeply appreciative of the trust that you've put in us. We recognize the generations of work and thought and breeding that went into every animal in this sale. We commend them to you with, with absolute assurance that they're the best that can be bred in this country. The ABS Americana is an event that creates enthusiasm from the initial decision to start selecting cattle. The ABS Americana stands out in many dairymen's minds as one of the best cattle sales in the registered Holstein business. This once in three years chance to see a showcase of the AI industry's best cattle was originally conceived in 1977. It was then, and still is today, ABS's intention to present a complete view of our ABS breeding program results. The Americana makes available to the demanding breeder the genetic opportunity of a lifetime. Several animals sell with ABS contracts. Some already have sons at ABS or have full brothers being progeny tested. And all offer valuable potential as embryo donors. Auctioneer Bruce Whittier set the tone for the sale. Americana represents ABS. The essence of quality, leadership in this industry, in the AI industry, in the Holstein breed in itself, is synonymous with the word American Breeder Service. Dr. Walton is a complete staff, have done for years an outstanding job in the field. I think it's quite evidence today by what you find out in that barn and what we're going to be presenting for your appraisal here this evening. ABS offspring are worth money and that was proven at the 86 Americana. Valiant had several high-selling daughters. One of those was Textine Valiant Octavia. This cow's index is at 1,400 on milk and 61 on fat and 185 on dollars. 47 on protein, plus 01 percent on protein. Scored it very good. As a two-year-old, Texas leader for fat, with 1181 of fat, 26,000 on milk, and a 4-4 test. Certainly one of the most admired cows in this year's Americana sale by people that visited the barn was the Octavia cow. I think uh, Bobby Steinberger I'm talking with here who bred the cow down in Winthorst, Texas. 
uh, would agree with me that she came in looking a little uh, like she'd been through one of those good Texas storms, Bobby. And uh, I think in my judgment, she stayed here about every hour she stayed here. She just got to looking like she should when she left the farm. Well, she camped last Thursday morning and got trucked a thousand miles. And I think that uh, she looked better every day. I've been here three days. She looked better every day. At $56,000, Octavia was the second highest selling cow in the sale. Another high selling Valiant was Modic Valiant Gwyn. Everybody's in love with Gwyn. Beautiful Valiant, out of an elevation, scored at 91 with an excellent memory. 23,500 of milk and 795 of fat, so two year old. Working right now, four years and nine months, 118 days and twice a day. 11,680. Her dam is the very famous ginger cow, 3E92, gold medal with three times over 34,000 pounds. Gwyn sold for $32,500. Other sires were also well represented at the 86 Americana. The top selling milkmaster was Lecker Milkmaster Dash ET, a high solids production package from an astronaut dam. Dash left the ring at $47,000. The high-selling Sexation was Podonk Sexation Rose Charm at $15,000. Seven daughters of Lime Hollow Elevation Mars averaged $4,600. The highest-selling Mars was Limode Mars Nimbus at $11,400. Of particular interest, were the eight gold calves. The goals combined solid pedigrees and fancy type to average $3,800. But here is the cow who stole the show at the 86 Americana. And now it's time for number one. Longhaven, Valiant Sally. She is the number one cow in the breed for CTPI, for fat, for dollars, for cheese yield. She is the world's champion for protein production. She is the top valiant for milk, fat, and protein. She's had sons bring as high as $115,000, and that son is a very popular sire at ABS today. Owner Carlos Long comments further on Sally's pedigree. We were very proud to have bred this valiant daughter and uh, top the sale. Uh, we've bred seven generations behind this cow at our place. She's out of the great Stephanie cow, of course, that made over 2,000 pounds of fat, 51,000 pounds of milk. Her maternal sister is the only other sister that has made 22,000 pounds of fat. 40,000, sir, you're turning up at 340. 35, would have been 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Yes, 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 now, 45. 45, see if we get 345, would have been 345. 40 here, 5, they would have 45, would have been 340. Now, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Sell those eggs, sell those eggs. Those are 45, 40 here, now, 5, back to 3. 45, his turn, now 50,000. 350, what is everybody get 50 more? 350, what is everybody get 50 on the 45, now 50, sir, 50, yes. 55. 55 was able to get 355, 350, no 5, no 5, no 5, but 355. Once, twice. So $350,000 right down here, front row. Sally was purchased by Judge Crown of Golden Oaks Farms. Farm manager Jack Bingham tells us why. He was looking at this from an investment from the standpoint of making money, and uh, that's the way we look at things at our farm. Well, I think that's what the dairy business is all about, is making money. If it isn't, we, we missed a point somewhere. The willingness of the consigners to part with their best cattle and the good judgment of the buyers to recognize them made the Americana the best AI sale of 1986. The sale average was $11,970. Even without the Sally Cow, the sale still averaged $6,848, significantly higher than any other sale that year. Todd Charnetsky and Dick Smith put the sale in perspective. You know, Dick, I think it was pretty obvious that, that the cows that sold tonight were cows that fit all markets. They fit the embryo market, they fit the export market. Any reflections on that kind of, that kind of cow, that, the kind of cow that we're trying to select for right now? 
Well, it, it is interesting to see which markets uh, had the most appeal this evening. And I think the embryo market has, was a big factor, was a big factor in the success of our sale. And basically, it demonstrates some of the things we talked about early on in this sale in terms of the world demand for the ABS genetics. And particularly, I sense the real correlation there between uh, the outstanding uh, cows in the sale. It's related to their fat and protein production. And that gets back to Valiant and his great contribution to the world in that area. And so when we have a strong world market willing to pay premium prices for embryos, it's been reflected here tonight. Perhaps the most impressive sight at Americana 86 was the cooperative spirit and enthusiasm of the over 100 volunteers and 6,000 guests who made it happen.